Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing times two. I have two of the newest Harry Potter releases from Diamond Art Club. This is as part of their licensing agreement with Warner Brothers that is bringing us some really incredible kits, including multiple fantastic kits from Wizarding World slash Harry Potter. <laughs> so um, I was really, really excited to see these particular pieces being released because the art style really, really appeals to me. It's so neat to see such a huge variety of artwork become available to us through this licensing agreement, um, including just a variety of artwork that I think will appeal to a lot of different people. <laughs> so I really, really, really fell in love with this artwork basically as soon as I saw it. So both these pieces are in the same style, almost had a little bit of an anime vibe. Um, and they are both so, so pretty and dreamy. Now, if you're only interested in seeing one of these kits in particular, uh, I will be sure to insert timestamps down at the bottom so that you can skip ahead if you're looking to see the second kit that we unbox together. We are gonna start with this one over here, which this is Schoolwork and Friends. This is our lovely Hermione. And then after we do that one, we will take a look at Harry Potter over here. The name of this piece is The Boy Who Lived. Now I'm only gonna show the toolkits and go through the elements of the canvas um, with our first kit, this Hermione kit. So if you're curious to see all of that, stick around at least for that part and then you can you know, skip ahead to see the canvas and the diamonds for The Boy Who Lived. So let's shift this out of the way. Let us get into it. So one of the really fun things about these Harry Potter kits is that you're gonna see lots of special branding on the boxes themselves love like the gold foil effect and all of the fun like the newspaper like the daily profit like it is so much fun on the back here we've got information about how to diamond paint as well as the kit contents themselves and all the branding that just confirms and reaffirms to us again that this has been legally licensed here we've got that thumbnail of the original artwork this is gonna have 64 colors wow that's a lot um and it's gonna be a full drill diamond painting kit, so it's gonna cover the entire canvas. And yeah, square diamonds here. 51 by 71 centimeters, and there's the title of the artwork as well. Let's get into this box. <laughs> I am dying to see what this kit looks like. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing really, really well. I was excited to see this order come in relatively quickly because, oh my gosh, look at like even the holographic sheen on the box there. That's so cool, I love that. All right, let's get into this. That box almost kind of wants, yep, that glue is <laughs> maybe got a little, little squished in shipping. That is okay. Is there another? Nope, okay, maybe it's tucked in there. So here we have, oh, there it is. So we've got the kit and most of the kit contents here, a sticker, and then here is the toolkit. So like I said, I'm not gonna go through the whole toolkit in the next, with the next kit. So I'll just go through it here. <laughs> there are a couple of different versions of Diamond Art Club's toolkits to be found in their uh, diamond painting kits right now. There's not a hard and fast way to know which toolkit you are going to get with the kit that you order. Uh, but I will say that whether you get this particular kit or if you get um, one of the older versions of the toolkit, it's still gonna have absolutely everything you need to do your diamond painting. So let me show you the kit contents in this one though. So we do have a basic pen and squishy. You might get these colors or any other color of the rainbow. You're gonna get a pair of tweezers as long as you have ordered a square drill diamond painting kit. They might be black, they might be pink ombre, uh, who knows? <laughs> but most of them seem to have this Diamond Art Club branding on the side. You're gonna have a couple of thin plastic multi-placers in case you wanna try placing more than one diamond at once. You have a bag of baggies if you want to store leftover diamonds in them or even kit up into them, you can do that. We're gonna have a Heart Caddy that's gonna have two sets of pink heart wax inside. Be sure to take off that uh, thin film on the top before you try to load up your pen with this wax. I really like that wax, actually. 
And then we have a plastic tray with some lovely sparkly golden sparkles. Uh, there's a couple of different versions of this plastic tray floating around as well. You're also gonna get this little not mistake piece of plastic. It is a tray stopper. That'll help prevent the diamonds from sliding out if you tilt your tray while you're using it. These two last pieces here are kind of the wild cards when it comes to your new toolkit. These do not come with the older versions of the toolkits. These are extra bonuses as I think of them. So this here is actually a cover minder. I see lots of people ask, what is a cover minder for? Like I said, it's just a nice bonus. You don't have to have it for diamond painting, but there are magnets on the back. If you peel off this, you know, separate magnet here, slide it under the section of the canvas you're working on and peel back that plastic cover, set the rose part, the minor part on top, and that's gonna hold back the plastic cover for you. This is a roll of washi tape. You may get this print. You may get something different. Uh, it, this one's really pretty though. <laughs> I like to use washi tape to add a little border around the edge of the drill field on my canvas so that if there's any glue that goes past that edge of those, uh, that drill field, this will cover that up, prevent any dirt or dust from getting into it. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvases. I have a video all about that in case you are curious what that looks like. Now, like I said, these two last pieces here are kind of nice bonuses. <laughs> they may or may not come with your newer toolkit. If you do get them, um, your print and style may vary. Here we have a logbook sticker. It's a smaller sticker that has all the information about this original artwork. Um, I like to use this in my paper logbook. Some people like to use it on the box that the kit came in so that they can help organize their stash just a little bit better. Uh, you can do something crafty with it too, but I like the Diamond Art Club includes these with their kits. Let's get into these rest, the rest of these kit contents. Everything else is protected by this plastic branded dust bag. Oh my gosh, Diamond Art Club's canvases, they are so soft and velvety. I love them. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And look at Crookshanks there on the front. Oh, I love her. Oh, the style of this is so, so cute. Okay, so we have a big bag of diamonds here. I will show you these. We'll get into these together here in just a little bit. Here though, we have um, a thank you pamphlet with some other info in it. On the front there is a thank you note from Angie, the owner of Diamond Art Club. And then we have info about what is included in your kit, a QR code that'll take you to a video with step-by-step -step instructions for how to diamond paint, another QR code that'll take you to the VIP Facebook group, which is a fabulous resource and a wonderful community, some written out step-by-step -step instructions for you in a few different languages, along with some more tips and tricks, and a discount code down here. And then a couple of QR codes that will take you to the mobile app on your respective mobile device. Uh, you also get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Also, I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club. I did purchase these kits myself, but um, I do have an affiliate discount code that you are welcome to use. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E. And then number 20, if you're making your first purchase from Diamond Art Club and wanna save 20% off your first purchase, you're more than welcome to use that, but you're certainly not obligated. I always just say don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. There are discount codes everywhere. I've just shown you a couple here. You're going to see a couple more on the kits. There's other affiliates out there. There's the VIP group discount code. Diamond Art Club doesn't want you to pay full price, so don't pay full price. <laughs> anyway, here we have a larger inventory sticker sheet. Here's the information about the artwork, a spot to write your start and end date. Look at how pretty this is. I cannot get over it. Diamond shape square, size is 20 by 28 inches or 51 by 71 centimeters. Over here, we have our whole color list. We're gonna have 64 colors in this kit. And um, the color code over here is actually the DMC color code. Uh, that's the same color code that they use with some floss and stitching. And any numbers though in Diamond Art Club's numbering system under the number 150 are going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I will tell you more about those when we get into the diamonds themselves, but holy cow, we're going to have six of them in this kit. Now, these are actually pre-cut for you. So if you like to kit up into a storage system or baggies, um, you can peel these off and use them on your storage system. And they peel off again really easily. It just makes that process go really quickly. Now, as I'm glancing through the symbols, I see a couple that are similar. So we have a few variations on this. I call this like just the corner symbol, like here it's pointing to the bottom left, here to the bottom right, over here to the top left. 
Symbols like those, especially when they are so similar, like a white triangle on a black background or a dark background, and it's gonna entirely depend just on which way you're working on the canvas. Since on a canvas like this size, you're probably gonna turn it different directions to work on. I recommend that when you get to one of these symbols on the canvas, that you take out the storage container or whatever you're using to store your diamonds in while you work, and make sure it's oriented the same direction as the canvas as you're working on it so that you can match up the symbols and make sure you've pulled the correct symbol. So um, that's the those are the main culprits. There may be more, but I'm trying to move a little quickly, though I am seeing white arrows pointing in different directions as well. So those are other ones you're going to want to watch out for. Let's take a look at this canvas. So it is, you can see, wanting to curl up a bit here at the top. Since this is Diamond Art Club's fabulous quality canvases and poured canvas and poured glue, you can very safely roll it backwards. I need to clean off my kitchen table. <laughs> that is not Diamond Art Club, that is me. Uh, but yeah, you can roll it backwards like this. If you are working on a canvas that is double-sided adhesive, do not do that. <laughs> but all of Diamond Art Club's canvases are poured glue. But you can see her all in frame. Look how adorable she is. Okay, <laughs> let me though first take you on a little tour of the canvas. Let's look at some of the different features we have. So here at the top, Diamond Art Club's branding, do what makes you sparkle. The edges of the canvas, you can see they are scalloped and they are finished here. You're not gonna have to worry about fraying. I never have had any fraying on my Diamond Art Club canvases before. Speaking of the canvas, I was mentioning earlier how soft and lovely they are. Are. So they are super, super, super soft and almost plush to work on. They're also this really magical combination of being both uh, really stiff and really malleable at the same time, sturdy and malleable at the same time. What that means is that it's going to lay flat beautifully. These canvases do have a self flattening feature and they're going to hold your drills so beautifully when you're done <laughs> and and just be really a joy to work on. Here at the top left, we've got a long, long legend or color code there. <laughs> we have that same legend over here on the bottom right. At the bottom left, we have the thumbnail of the original artwork and all the information about the artwork itself. You'll notice that Wizarding World and all related trademarks, characters, names, and whatever that word is, indicia, <laughs> indicia, are copyright and trademarked by Warner Brothers. So Diamond Art Club does have a licensing agreement with Warner Brothers, um, which was not a small deal for them to get worked out. Uh, and so this has been legally licensed. You will see a lot of unlicensed diamond paintings out there, especially of popular fan works like Harry Potter. Very, 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 very few companies have the licensing rights to Harry Potter is diamond paintings. Diamond Art Club is one of them and has by far the best selection and the most uh, variety in terms of the artwork available so far. And this isn't even the last set of Harry Potter pieces. So anyway, here are the links to Diamond Art Club's social media platforms. So you can follow along there. I recommend doing so so that you can uh, stay up to date with their new releases each week. And then here's info about their lifetime warranty. If you are the original own owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. If anything happens to your diamonds, like if you run out or have a problem, um, or if there's an issue with the canvas or the glue, contact their customer service. They will take care of you because they are fantastic like that. <laughs> Let's do a quick glance at different parts of the drill field to confirm that it is indeed as clearly printed as we've come to know and love from Diamond Art Club. And as we're looking through, I'll point out to you that I'm seeing some sections of color blocking, like here. Color blocking is a section where you have lots of the same color in one area and next to each other. You'll be able to use a multi-placer in those areas if you like to multi-place. And you'll also have that color in your tray for a while. Areas with lots of color blocking like this tend to go more quickly than areas that are not so much areas with more of what we call confetti. I will find a good section to point out to you an example of that, but confetti is where you have a lot more color changes in a small area. You're probably gonna be doing more single placing and changing out that color in your tray a bit more often. But this, this canvas does have a really good amount of color blocking. Look at her face, her eyes, they are like hauntingly beautiful. I love, love, love it. We have these really pretty butterflies. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so pretty. That original artwork, I feel like 
Some of those details maybe look a little more blurred and impressionistic, but the printing on the canvas and the way it looks to have been rendered looks to be much clearer. You guys, my Cricut friend has decided to join us. I apologize in advance if that noise is a bit bothersome, <laughs> but he comes to hang out with me in the evenings. <laughs> Let's do a quick little measurement to see if this is gonna measure true to size for us. So, we are at 71 centimeters tall, which is what it is listed as, by 51 centimeters wide. So that is true to size, which is again, as we've come to expect from Diamond Art Club. Let's take a look at these diamonds together. So we do have the name of the original artwork here on the front of the diamonds. So if you store your diamonds separate from the canvas and out of the box they came in, you'll be able to match them up easily later. So look at this really pretty packing job. <laughs> Let's take a look at these diamonds together. So as I mentioned, these are square diamonds. Diamond Art Club did recently begin manufacturing all of their diamonds in house. And the difference is most noticeable with their square diamonds. What this really means is that now the sizes and the quality overall is just so much more consistent and it's really excellent quality. The easiest way to tell the difference between the old and the new square diamonds is that the new square diamonds will all have 13 facets cut on the top, where the old square diamonds will have a mix of nine and 13 facets cut on the top. Did I say that correctly? The new ones will have all 13 facets <laughs> and the old ones will have a mix of nine and 13. So we're looking at all these different shades of brown and beige, a couple of pinks were in there, no ABs yet. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Here's some more pretty browns. I feel like this kit is gonna have about every shade of brown. Look at that gorgeous aqua teal color. Oh, I love it. All right, here is our first AB diamond, 117. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and that is just a name for a really special kind of diamond that has this amazing iridescent coating on the top. Just like the Northern Lights have this really pretty color shift and glimmer, so do Aurora Borealis diamonds or AB diamonds. The areas that these have been charted are just gonna glimmer and sparkle even more than regular diamonds. It's gonna draw your eye to those areas and gosh, it can just really beautifully enhance a painting. I will be sure to point out to you where each one of these different AB colors is gonna go once we're done looking at all the diamonds. Little strands here, more blues and browns. Diamond Art Club's new squares, oh my gosh, they are a dream to work with. Now, since this kit does have 64 colors, we're gonna have quite a few of these smaller bags of diamonds, it looks like. But it didn't look like a ton of confetti, given that there's that many colors. Okay, 137, this is our second AB. It's a really brilliant blue AB. Love that. And then, ooh, 115, we've got a red AB. That is like a true cherry red, the iridescent coating on the top. You can see it's reflecting kind of a, a variety of different colors. It's totally eye-catching. And then we have a few more here, greens and oranges and whatnot. So I wanna make sure I don't miss, oh, these are just tiny, tiny quantities of diamonds here. <laughs> 104, okay, so this is a really, really subtle, pale pinkish peach AB. Some ABs have a more subtle iridescent coating on the top than others, but so, so pretty. It's still gonna sparkle even more, and I think, I think Diamond Art Club does such a nice job with where they chart their ABs, so I'm excited to see where these are gonna go. 132, a really pretty tangerine orange AB. There's not very many of this one, so I bet there's just gonna be the tiniest handful. I'm like looking at the canvas like, I wonder where they go. <laughs> Last but not least, 121. This is kind of like a purpley, in, almost like an indigo AB. That's so pretty. Oh, that iridescent coating on the top is striking, or dare I say, stunning. <laughs> Then we have just the tiniest, tiniest handfuls of the rest of these colors, including these. 
Diamond Art Club gives you plenty of extra diamonds. So you're not going to use all these. I feel like you might use like a dozen of this color. <laughs> so all six of those ABs are going to be found somewhere in this canvas. Let's find them. We'll start at the bottom. We're looking for numbers or symbols. One, two, three, four, five, and then the num and then the letter G. <laughs> they didn't they didn't make it the number six. They just were like, no, we're, we're gonna make it G. So we have a little bit of number three, which three was that? See now there's six ABs. I gotta give myself a refresher here. So three was this. This is this really subtle beige AB. We have a little bit of that sprinkled in here, and. I want to make sure I don't miss any because like I said, it's, there's just going to be lots of confetti throughout, uh, that p pale pinkish peach AB is kind of doing some highlighting through the feather. We've got, uh, the orange AB sprinkled through this. What's in this? It's in the potion bottle, right? Where's that original artwork? Let me see. Yeah. in the potion bottle, we have some of the orange AB in here. And then where's the cherry red AB? That's gotta be somewhere too. I'm gonna find all of them. <laughs> uh, a little bit of the beige AB kind of highlighting the side of this potion bottle here, as well as some of the, um, of the top, or sorry, yeah, the beige AB along the top of the potion bottle as well. And then we'll keep moving up. I'll make sure I'm not missing any. Some of the beige AB is here in her blouse. Where's that red AB? I bet it's up at the top in those butterflies. We'll get there, we'll get there <laughs> one step at a time. Um, I don't see any ABs in her skin tone, which I'm very happy about, but her eyes have that gorgeous beige AB as well. That's a really gorgeous neutral AB. I think it's gonna be so, 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 so pretty. Crookshanks has a single beige AB in his eye. <laughs> no ABs in her tie or anything like that. I'll make sure I'm not looking, overlooking it. Let's find them in the butterflies. They've got to be in the butterflies. Follow the butterflies. Anyone else? <laughs> Pale pinkish peach AB. We have doing some outlining here in this particular butterfly. Where is the, yep, that purple AB. Outlining along the purple, the lightest purple you're seeing in the butterfly. Ooh, not all of these dots, but a little bit in there. Then over here in our blue butterfly friend, we have some blue ABs kind of doing this outlining around the brightest middle part. Around it, there's some of the really gorgeous blue AB. And then as we get up to the top, there it is. There's that red AB, that cherry red AB is in this butterfly's wings doing some highlighting. And the orange AB is in the middle of this particular butterfly right here and there is there's a tiny bit of the blue ab in the blue parts of this butterfly Ooh, there's a, i missed it too a little bit of red and some of the red that you're seeing on this butterfly friend so you guys it looks like they've really kept the ab's to those kind of like those those objects here so on these butterflies oh these are like little star ornaments that's what's happening there that's really pretty <laughs> a little bit in her eyes some around like kind of where you imagine the light glinting off of the potion bottle some of the lightest parts of the feather and is that a mushroom i think it is so they have been really sparing about it and if you look at this i really feel like the overall effect of this artwork is much more muted and so in my opinion that is really really nice use of those ab's it's not heavy-handed it's not overdone i feel like it suits this artwork which is what i am looking for with my ab placement <laughs> and diamond art club does a really really lovely job of it so you guys this was schoolwork and friends is the name of this gorgeous piece it has 64 colors, it's 51 by 71 centimeters with square diamonds. As of the time of this filming, I believe this is still in stock, but if it's not, I don't believe it's been listed as limited edition, so you should be able to go back and sign up for email notifications if it is out of stock. I think that this is going to pair beautifully with the next piece I have to show you in this video, which is a very similar art style, I would guess from the same artist, but is of Hermione's friend, Harry. So I'm going to shift this canvas and kit to the side. I'm going to pull over the boy who lived and we'll get into that kit together as well. Okay, so here we have the absolutely 
beautiful and dreamy The Boy Who Lived. Mostly referring to the artwork style and not like, you know, the character, but <laughs> I just, I love, love, love how soft and whimsical this art style feels. And I think that this is gonna be a really lovely kit as well. Now, if you are curious to hear more about what's on the box and some of these kit contents inside that I'm gonna be just glossing over here, I would suggest that you go back and take a look at the earlier part of this video at just the very beginning of what I was showing from the Schoolwork and Friends kit because a lot of these things are gonna be very, very, very similar or nearly the same. So for example, the toolkit here, Again, this is one of the newer toolkits. If you would like to see all the kit contents, hop on back to the earlier in the video and you can see me share about each of those. Here is our smaller logbook sticker. And then let's get into this canvas. So I hope you guys are enjoying this double unboxing so far. I know that I am enjoying doing it. I don't usually do multiple kits in a, in a single video, but why not? As always, we have this lovely soft and plush canvas from Diamond Art Club. And oh my gosh, look at Fox. I love it. Okay, so here we have The Boy Who Lived is the name of this artwork. This is, again, legally licensed by Diamond Art Club from Warner Brothers. Included in here, we have that same thank you booklet, which again, you can pop back earlier in the video to see what all is in here, including those discount codes. Don't miss out on that. <laughs> here we have the inventory sticker sheet, a spot to write your start and end date, all the information about the artwork, including this lovely original artwork. This is gonna be a square drill diamond painting kit, be 22 by 31 inches, which is 56 by 79 centimeters. This is gonna have 55 colors and Again, this is the color code, which is the same as the DMC color code that they use in cross stitch and floss. And with Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under the number 150 is gonna be an AB diamond. If you'd like to find out more about what an AB diamond is, I'm gonna tell you all about it when we're looking at the diamonds together in just a bit. Looking at the symbols just initially here, I don't see any that seem too, too similar to one another. There were a couple that wanted to trip us up in that Hermione kit, but the closest I'm seeing is we do have this little corner symbol over here, a black on a beige or pink background. We also have another one over here that's a black corner symbol pointing a different direction on an olive green background. So I always just like to mention my recommendation to orient your drill bags or your storage containers the same way as the direction that you're working on the canvas at that given moment. These are pre-cut for you, so as far as kitting up goes, that'll make that process go super, super quickly. Let's take a look at this canvas together. I'll go ahead and just recap some of the highlights of the different features on these canvases. So up here we have Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club's branding. The edges, they are scalloped, they are finished. You are not gonna have to worry about fraying. There might be a little bit of, um, you're seeing a little thread or two here. Those aren't gonna go any further. And if they were somehow to, you're not gonna have to worry about it because we have this finishing here. Diamond Art Club's canvases are super plush and soft on the back. The poured glue that they use is a really lovely quality. It's got some like sparkly glitter to it. Do you guys hear my cricket friend? He's still here. He was here earlier in the video too. I am so sorry, you guys. Uh, but anyway, between this poured glue and the canvas material, that makes diamond painting on Diamond Art Club's canvases feel like you're diamond painting on a squishy cloud. It's lovely. Over here at the top left, we've got their a legend for this particular canvas. Nice and long one. Over here we have the same thing at the bottom right. At the bottom left we've got all the information about the artwork including a little reminder that this has been licensed from Warner Brothers. So licensing for major IPs like Harry Potter is not a simple thing to get. It is not a small deal but Diamond Art Club has done everything above board. They're one of very, 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 very few diamond painting companies that have the rights to use Harry Potter on a diamond painting canvas. So I'm all about supporting companies that have legally licensed their artwork. 
Here we've got their social media info as well as a discount code. Just a reminder that I do have that 20% off your first purchase discount code that you're welcome to use. Here is info about their lifetime warranty as long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your canvas. If you run into any issues whatsoever, Diamond Art Club will take care of you. Just contact their customer service. Let's look at the canvas and see what we think of this drill field. Look at these pretty, pretty embellishments in the background. I love all the textures there. From what I am seeing as usual, Diamond Art Club's canvases are printed crystal clear. I don't usually run into issues with symbols being blurry or difficult to read, but you know what? If you ran into an issue like that and you cannot read what is on your canvas, go ahead and reach out to Diamond Art Club. Like I said, they have excellent customer service and they will get you taken care of. Look at this art style. I love his adorable little face. We have a Hedwig over here. Hello, Hedwig, my friend. And then of course, our Phoenix friend, Fox over here in the corner. Interesting to have like all these really soft muted floral touches. It's just, it's so opposite of what I feel like we usually see in artwork from Harry Potter, but I love it so much. And truly I think this would be a beautiful pairing with the kit that we looked at before this one. Uh, Schoolwork and Friends of Hermione. It's like I said, I would guess it's the same artist <laughs> and um, the kind of art that I feel like would just be so, so pretty displayed in your home even. So let's do a quick measurement and see if we are looking true to size. So let me make sure I've got this canvas flat because it looks like that plastic cover did shift and want to kind of have this canvas pull up a little bit. We're at 79, a tick shy of 79 centimeters, which is what it as is listed as. And then we're at 56. So this is true to size because it is listed as 56 by 79 centimeters. Now, if you're seeing what looks like wrinkles in the canvas, that is not what's going on. It's just where the plastic cover shifted while it was rolled up in the box, rolled up around the drills and whatnot. If you peel back the plastic cover, that will help it lay more flat. It may get rid of some of those kind of shifts in the plastic cover, but it might not. Rest assured though, that it is not going to affect the canvas itself at all. The drills are still gonna go down just fine. It's gonna lay perfectly flat and perfect once you've got those diamonds down as well. So not a cause for worry at all. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and take a look at these diamonds together. I wanna see what ABs we have and take a look at these colors. So we do have the sticker here, the boy who lived. So if you store these diamonds separate from the canvas outside of the box they came in, you will be able to match them up easily later. Okay, look at those beautiful, beautiful colors. Love that. So right at first glance, I will say that I'm noticing that that font of this printing of these numbers is different <laughs> than what I'm used to seeing. It does still have that Diamond Art Club branding on the back, so I'm sure that this is still their in-house diamonds, but it's interesting to see that there's just, maybe they just changed fonts. <laughs> I don't think it's a big deal, but I'm noticing it. So uh, speaking of manufacturing in-house, Diamond Art Club did begin manufacturing all of their diamonds in-house back in I think the summer or the fall. Um, and these new square diamonds in particular are amazing. They did start manufacturing their rounds in-house as well, but I think that the difference is really noticeable with the squares. The easiest way to tell the difference is the newer square diamonds will all have 13 facets cut on the top, whereas the older diamonds, you'll see a mix of nine and 13 facets cut on the top. So we've got all these just really, really, really pretty muted tones. Look at all of these amazing pale pastels. This is my happy place. I love it. Here we have our first AB diamond. So 141, easily one of Diamond Art Club's favorite ABs, I think. <laughs> AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And AB diamonds have this amazing iridescent coating on them that sparkles and shimmers much like the Northern Lights do. The areas that these have been charted are gonna sparkle even more than the regular diamonds around them. It's gonna draw your eyes to them, maybe reflect some of the colors of the diamonds around them as well. Diamond Art Club usually charts these in such a way that they just really enhance and elevate a painting beautifully. So this is the first AB. I believe we're going to have four. And I will, after we're done looking at the diamonds together, I will go through the canvas with you 
and point out where we're going to find those different AB diamonds. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 bags of 3371, which is a nice dark brown. I am quite sure that that is gonna be our background color, but holy cow, 10 bags of that color. <laughs> Thankfully, Diamond Art Club's newer square diamonds are such excellent quality. They're really consistent in size. There's very little trash. Multi-placing with those is gonna be a dream. You guys, these colors are so, so my happy place. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're so dreamy. Muted tones is one of my buzzwords. I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> or my wheelhouse, as, as people joke that I say often. But it's true, it's true. <laughs> we have some kind of earthy tones in here. Now I am noticing just so maybe a tiny bit, maybe not, of what looks like static in some of these bags. Whether or not your drills have static in them is gonna be mostly climate dependent. You can see kind of where the drills are wanting to stick to the inside. Uh, if you run into static, just cut up a little piece of dryer sheet and stuff it in the bag, kind of rub it around and shake it, and uh, that'll get rid of the static, so it'll pour out more easily. 136 is our next AB diamond. It's a blue AB diamond and super, super eye-catching. Love that. More blues and grays, kind of an olive green or chartreuse. We have, ooh, another blue AB. So these are similar, but not, those are really close to one another. Oh my gosh. Okay, so 121, there it is next to 136. This one has a little bit more of like a purpley sheen to it. It's almost purple. I wonder where there's gonna go. Those are really close, but not in a bad way. <laughs> and then last but not least here, just second to last, we've got 109, which is kind of a grayish, a gray beige AB, a little more subtle. Just a tiny handful of those. Diamond Art Club gives you plenty of extra diamonds, but if something happens and you run out or you have a spill or something like that, contact them and they will get some more sent out to you. Now let's take a look together. I wanna to point out where we're gonna find those AB diamonds. I'm gonna guess probably mostly in the flowers. So let's take a look though. Sure enough, around these flowers here, you see the white kind of border and a little bit of like uh, the highlighting in there. That is the white AB. And then we have some of the blue AB in these blue spots that you're gonna see. There's a little bit of highlighting in there. And then a little bit of the gray AB, just doing some really light, I see a little bit of it right here. I wanna make sure I don't overlook it because it's in with these other grays. So it's gonna be a bit subtle, I think. So we have both shades of blue. This is the one that's gonna be a more blue color and not a purple color, not the, not the purpley blue, more the blue blue. <laughs> um, let's keep checking. The white kind of outlines and um, highlighting you're seeing on these flowers over here as well as over here. That is our white AB. Um, I already pointed out this gray AB. Let's keep going up. More of the white AB doing some highlighting in these flowers on the side again. And then over here as well. And outlining this flower. I see a couple of lines of that gray AB in here. Where's the original artwork? I wanna take a look. Okay, so like, what is it doing? Okay, so it's a little bit of these lightest parts of the background is where we're seeing some of that gray AB. Like there's some right here. I think it's just to give it a little bit of extra sparkle. A little bit of a subtle extra sparkle. Oh, that's a snitch. I didn't realize that when I was just looking at the um, at the canvas. So here's the golden snitch. So its wings have some really pretty lines and highlighting with the white AB. As we keep moving up, we have the blue AB in the middle of these flowers here. And Fox doesn't really have any ABs, but the white flower over here does. Here's where we're gonna find that more purpley indigo AB is in these particular flowers where you're seeing kind of that purple color. It's doing some highlighting up there. 
wasn't totally in frame. So again, it was kind of highlighting through these flowers. More of the white AB highlighting this last flower up here. And then let's see in Harry and Hedwig. Hedwig has just a line of white ABs here. Harry has some right here on his collar. Um, white ABs on this flower, blue ABs here, and some white ABs outlining here. I think, I think that is all. I was just checking to see if his eyes had that grayish AB. I think it's pretty likely that I probably missed some of that gray beige AB in here because I think that symbol, it's, it's just so lightly sprinkled throughout that, um, I do apologize that I likely did miss, <laughs> miss a few of it, but it was just really sparingly throughout that AB placement. Much like I said about Schoolwork and Friends, the Hermione kit, I like that it's very subtle and sparing because this art style is a lot more muted. Um, I really like that it has more to do with kind of these elements behind Harry and even behind Hedwig and Fox. Um, to me, this really does make sense as far as where we're finding those ABs. You guys, this looks so pretty. I cannot wait to see how this works up with diamonds on it. So again, the name of this kit is The Boy Who Lived. Um, and it was 56 by 79 centimeters with a total of 55 colors, including four AB diamonds. Now, let me bring over... Um, schoolwork and friends as well because I really want to share these side by side for just a second. <laughs> All right, you guys, seriously, how gorgeous are these two together and side by side? I could not resist buying these two together as a pair. It just it was meant to be. <laughs> and given that the art style just really, really incredibly spoke to me, um, this is like exactly what I would have been hoping for as, as far as like some Harry Potter artwork that doesn't necessarily super closely mimic kind of the art style of the original movies. To me, this almost feels like it's closer to the feel and the vibe of the books, which is where my heart truly lies. Um, so I think that both of these are stunning pieces. I am dying to see how they look with drills down. Uh, there was one other kit in this particular set of Harry Potter releases that had a similar kind of anime vibe as well that had the trio together. Um, I did not pick that one up. I thought I would start with these two, but I believe as of the time of this filming that all of the kits from that Harry Potter release, which was just about a week ago, I believe that they're still in stock. Like I said, though, if um, any of them are not in stock when you go to look, um, at least at the moment, I don't believe they're listed as limited editions. So you should be able to sign up for email notifications uh, for when they do come back into stock. If they do go to limited edition or get discontinued, then that means that once they sell out, Diamond Art Club is not planning to restock them. So. Generally, I say if you find some artwork that you love, don't sleep on it. Go ahead and pick it up for yourself. But you guys, I loved getting to do this double unboxing with you all. It just felt perfect to do these two together. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'd be more than happy to help. Um, if you enjoyed this video and getting into these two kits with me, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed, you want to see a whole lot more diamond painting content from me. I would love to have you. Feel free to subscribe and you can even hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.